show you how to do a really cool Blake Lively look. She's kind of my hair icon in the sense that she always looks like this like kind of like chic ass mermaid that like popped out of the water and has this like very beautiful beachy wave but also does these very cool high fashion looks and I just love her and her hair is incredible. Um, and so I'm gonna show you how to replicate one of my favorite hairstyles that she's ever done. Um, is from the Green Lantern premiere about two years ago, so it's not new, but it is very pretty. And it plays up all of the things we've already learned. So teasing, and how to do a fishtail braid, and how to um, use a curling rod. And so I feel like this is a really good end to our curl series, because it's showing you how to incorporate curled hair into a really cool hairstyle. And it may not seem easy at first, but I promise you, you can do it. It's all built on the fundamental things we've learned over the past two weeks. So there's absolutely no reason that you can't do this. If I can do it, so can you, so let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is just paddle brush out your hair to make sure there are no tangles anywhere. Then after that, we're just going to do a nice even coating of dry shampoo because we want to have a lot of volume on this look. Then you'll take a, um, a beach spray or the bombshell blowout and just kind of um, spray it around your hair and scrunch at the same time. Again, this is because we're going to get a lot of volume. Then you are going to take your comb and you're going to put part on the far right side of your head. If this is not something you're used to or you're used to it in the middle, doesn't matter. To get this look, we're going to do it on the far right side of your hair. And as you can tell, I normally wear my hair in the middle. Um, it was blow dried out in the middle. So it doesn't matter that, you know, it's not going to naturally want to go to the right, but the way that we do this hairstyle, it's going to have no problem staying all the way to the right. So just do a nice clean part far to the right side of your head. And then we just want to take the top layer of the hair that we've already put all the way to the left and we just want to do a little bit of dry shampoo to get a nice light teasing. This is kind of where that first, very first video from this series came in, um, just from doing a really light teasing just around the top of the hair. Maybe a little bit on the back, um, but really nowhere else but just around the top of the head. Okay, now because we are trying to get a very pretty beachy look, you know, Blake Lively is really famous for having these like very beachy waves. Um, we are going to do a very rough curl all around our entire head. This is not exact. There is no science to it. Use whatever size hair pieces you want to do. You just need to kind of make sure that you get most of the hair curled. This helps a lot with the volume. It's going to help make your braids that we're about to do look bigger. And it just gives that overall very kind of very pretty boho mermaidy type look. Um, it it's, shouldn't take you very long. This whole thing probably takes me five, seven minutes. I'm using a, um, it's 0.75 inches. It's the smallest one that comes with the Amiga 4P curler. I like it because it gives me a lot of volume because um, I'm doing, because they're smaller. So this is great. If you, but if you only have a big curling rod or you only have a curling iron, it doesn't matter. You're really doing this so that you get a lot of volume with this hairstyle. Okay, so after you're done, just take your brush and kind of lightly brush through it. Take your fingers, run it through. Again, this is for volume, this is not for look. Okay, so here's where we start to do the actual style. Our hair is prepped and ready, and here we go. We're gonna take the hair that is on the right side of our head, and we are going to loosely pull it back around a little bit past halfway behind our head. This is gonna connect with the other side that we're about to do. Now, if you look at the original picture, Blake Lively has a lot of pieces in the front kind of out and very loose. So leave some of your bang section out in the front. I mistakenly didn't pull enough out on the right side, and I'll pull them out later on, but when you're doing, just kind of leave out these front pieces, and then pull that that right or the left side of your hair back and join it with the other side just with body pins. Okay, so now we're going to do a series of three fishtail braids. I didn't realize this was out of focus until I went to edit it and there's nothing I can do at this point. So I'm going to speed through it and show you how to do a fishtail braid or remind you how to do a fishtail braid in the next one where it's clear. But what we did was we took a first maybe inch and a half of hair um, right in the front and then did a really even fishtail braid. You'll see right now. So here we are with, the, there's our first one that we just did. And I'm gonna show you, remind you how to do it now. Um, so you'll take the second section of hair right behind that first one. Take about an inch and a half width of hair and you just do a really basic fishtail braid. Remember, all you do is split the hair in two sections, take one from the back and cross it over to the other side and pull it tight. And then do the same with the other side. Take from the back, cross it over, pull it tight. And then just keep repeating. Take from one strand, cross it over, 
tighten up the braid. Take from the other strand, cross it over, tighten up the braid. Remember, this is really basic. You learned how to do this, a really nice, easy fishtail braid. Actually, it's even harder than this uh, in the first maybe week of our series. So you should have no problem with this. But the great thing about this hairstyle is that it's super forgiving. Because it's so messy, there's really no way that you can't fix it. Um, and, you know, and if you feel like the fishtail braid is too hard, you can easily do this with just a three-strand braid. But the fishtail braid, once you get it down, is so quick and it looks so nice. So at least give it your best shot before kind of giving up and going on to a 30 strand braid. All right, so here's what you do next. This is our third and final fishtail braid. You're gonna take a big section of hair from the other side of your of your head, um, and then you're gonna pair it with a piece of hair right behind the last fishtail braid that you did. The reason that we do this is to make sure that the whole braid, once it's set, once the whole look is done, um, it doesn't kind of fall apart. So you're gonna really just take a nice thick section from the other side of your head, pull it over and then pair it with a piece of hair from right behind the last braid that you did. And then you just fishtail those. Again, if you don't get this on the first try, don't give up, just keep on going. But it's the same motion for the past three moves that we did. We first did a fishtail braid in the front, then we did one in the middle, and now we're doing one in the back. It's very, very simple, but I totally understand if you don't get it right away. But don't give up, like I'm saying, do not give up. Any of these fishtail braids could be made into regular three-strand braids if that's easier for you. A fishtail braid I like especially on this back piece because it's going to keep it really nice and tight and this style will then last for, you know, five, six, seven hours, however long you need the style to last for. So at least give it your best shot. You owe yourself that. Okay, and at the end of each braid, just secure it with the bobby pin um, just to hold it temporarily until we get to the next step. Okay, so now it's time to put all of these pieces together. I took out the temporary bobby pins that were holding the braids together at the ends, and I'm going to take the front two braids and just add another temporary bobby pin to hold them together. And then this next part is much easier than it seems, I promise. I'm going to take, you take that back, the third fishtail braid that you did, and you take the remaining pieces that are down, and you can either fishtail that entire thing together, or I find it easier to just do a regular three-strand braid. This is so simple. You want this to be really big and very, very loose. So this should probably take you like no more than six or seven seconds. But since you have that third braid intertwined in there, it gives it a really nice textured look. So just take that back braid and pick up the rest of the hair and just use that middle braid as one of the strands. So take the other hair, separate it out into two sections, and then just do a basic crossover braid with that um, fishtail braid being the middle. All that you do then is just secure it with a really tight rubber elastic and then you can kind of pull it apart to make it really big and pretty. All right, so the next thing that you do is you go back to those front two braids that are currently bobby pinned together and from behind you bobby pin them together at the top. This is just to kind of keep them as one big braid. You can even mess this up a little bit. Um, but you just kind of want to keep them together and then you, all you do is really kind of like tuck them into that other section that you just did. Okay, I'm going to pause this here because I want to make sure that you understood what I just did. I took the two front braids and I used a bobby pin from behind them to combine them as one. And then I took that, those two braids and I just added them into the larger braid in the back by simply placing it on top and then bobby pinning it in. That's it. Like I said, this is an extremely forgiving look. There is no wrong way to do this. If you feel like the only way that you can get the top two braids to say that back braid is to wrap it around and tie it with a rubber elastic, cool, no problem. But the best way to do it is just to take the hair and bobby pin it into that larger braid. Because we did those curls in the beginning um, and because we have so many braids in there, there's tons of places to hide those bobby pins. And it's gonna help keep it really, really secure. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is pull out that original elastic that I had put in um, to hold the back one together, and I'm just gonna combine all three of the bottom strands with that elastic. If that part sounds too complicated, just use another elastic. I probably would have, but I couldn't find one. Um, so you just wanna make sure that all three ends of those braids are all secure with the same elastic so that none of them move. And then if you have any hair left out, just you know, take it, wrap it around. You can stick a bobby pin inside of the back of the braid. Um, this will help secure. I, had, I just had some extra hair, so I decided I was gonna wrap it around the base of those braids to kind of hide the rubber elastic. 
Um, and that's just if you have extra hair. Like I said, forgiving hairstyle. Do whatever works best. And then you just mess it up. You just kind of um, pull apart those braids, um, pull out some pieces in the front. You want this to be very messy, very beautiful, really kind of mermaid-like. So just pull out those braids, um, secure it again with some more bobby pins if you feel like it's a little bit loose anywhere. You kind of want this all to be like one big piece of hair just with some braids stuck in there. So you kind of, you don't want any separation or gaps. So if there is, just take some bobby pins and bobby pin it in. Um, take those front pieces and you're going to take your curling rod and just kind of curl them up a little bit. You know, I probably could have even left more out and curled more and kind of made it a little bit messier. But like I always say, do this until you're happy with the result. If you want more hair out and you want it to be a little bit messier, take more hair out. If you like it to be a little bit more clean, pull more hair back. Maybe you just do two braids instead of one. But I'm really trying to show you exactly how Blake Lively does hers. And I know there's other ways to do this, but this is, this is pretty close. The other thing that Blake does is she ends it by putting in like a very um, big like kind of flower pin. I don't like that, so I'm skipping that step because I think it looks kind of dumb. But if you love it, go ahead, find a pin, throw it right into that back piece where the two pieces meet on top of the braid, but totally up to you. And that's it. That's our Blake Lively boho inspired hair. You could even take this and kind of wrap it around and make it a bun. Just finish it off with some hairspray and that's really all there is to it.